Have you ever wondered how ethical hackers test the security of Facebook accounts? Welcome, this is HackerShield, and today we'll explore the latest Facebook hacking methods of 2024. We'll delve into cross-site scripting, insecure direct object references, and broken authentication and session management. Our aim is to arm ethical hackers, bug bounty hunters, and penetration testers with up-to-date knowledge. Remember, the information shared should only be used for authorized ethical hacking. Now let's dive in and start setting up our environment. To start, ensure you have the necessary tools. Let's walk through them. First, we're going to need a virtual machine, preferably one running Kali Linux. This powerful toolset is a staple for ethical hackers worldwide, packed with over 600 pre-installed penetration testing programs. It's your one-stop shop for hacking needs. Next up is Burp Suite. This is an integrated platform for performing security testing of web applications. It's like a Swiss army knife for web security, allowing you to intercept and manipulate web traffic. This tool is a must-have in your ethical hacking toolbox. Lastly, you'll need a Facebook account for testing purposes. Remember, this should not be someone else's account. You must have explicit permission to perform any ethical hacking activities. With these tools at hand, we're ready to explore the latest Facebook hacking methods for 2024, so let's dive right in. First on our list is cross-site scripting or XSS. Now, what exactly is XSS? Well, it's a type of injection attack where the attacker injects malicious scripts into vulnerable web applications. Sounds scary, right? But don't worry, we're going to break it down. To exploit a Facebook account using XSS, we first need to identify a vulnerable input field on the Facebook platform. This could be a comment box, a status update, or even a private message. Once we've found our entry point, it's time to craft our malicious payload. This script is designed to extract user data, which could include cookies, session tokens, or other sensitive information. Now here comes the tricky part, injecting the payload. We need to insert our crafted payload into the vulnerable input field. But how do we get our target to interact with it? We could disguise it as a harmless looking link or an enticing offer. Creativity is key. Once the unsuspecting victim interacts with our payload, their data is leaked and captured by us. With this data in our hands we can gain unauthorized access to the victim's account. And just like that, we've exploited a Facebook account using XSS. Remember this is a simplified explanation. In a real-life scenario there are many moving parts and potential roadblocks one might encounter, but with patience and persistence, the art of exploiting XSS can be mastered. That's how XSS works. Next, let's look at insecure direct object references. Our second method involves insecure direct object references, commonly known as IDOR. This type of vulnerability happens when a web application exposes a direct reference to an internal implementation object, like a database record. The exposed data can be manipulated leading to unauthorized access to sensitive information. To exploit an IDOR vulnerability, start by identifying a vulnerable endpoint on Facebook that reveals sensitive data. Once you spot this, craft a request designed to manipulate the exposed data. This could be a change in a user's email address, password, or other crucial account details. After crafting the request, send it to the vulnerable endpoint. If successful, you should gain unauthorized access to the victim's account using the manipulated data. It's like having a backdoor key to someone's house. Remember, this is a powerful tool and should only be used ethically and responsibly. That's iDoor for you, now let's move on to broken authentication and session management. Our final method involves exploiting broken authentication and session management vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities occur when a web application, like Facebook, fails to correctly authenticate users or manage their sessions. So, how do we exploit this to our advantage? Step 1. Identify a vulnerable authentication or session management mechanism on Facebook. This could be an exposed session ID, a weak password reset feature, or a faulty logout process. Step 2. Craft a request to bypass this vulnerable mechanism. This may involve manipulating the session ID, intercepting a password reset token, or exploiting the logout process. Step 3. Send this crafted request to the vulnerable endpoint. This requires precise timing and a keen understanding of the underlying system. Finally, Step 4 gain unauthorized access to the victim's account using the bypassed mechanism. This could involve logging in as the user, resetting their password, or maintaining access even after the user logs out. And that's how you exploit broken authentication and session management vulnerabilities. Now let's wrap things up. We've now covered the latest Facebook hacking methods for 2024. We explored how cross-site scripting, or XSS, 
allows us to inject malicious scripts into vulnerable web applications. We then looked at Insecure Direct Object References, or IDOR, which occur when a web application exposes a reference to an internal implementation object. Lastly, we delved into broken authentication and session management, vulnerabilities that surface when a web application fails to properly authenticate users or manage their sessions. These techniques, while potent, are tools in a kit that should be used judiciously and ethically. Remember, these are not instruments for harm but for safeguarding digital spaces. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more hacking tutorials and tips. Until next time, stay secure and keep hacking.